What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to answer, will I fit, will you fit in one of these carbon bucket seats? So to give you an idea, I'm six foot one, 205 pounds. My waist is 36 inches and inseam is 32. So today we're in a Boxster Spider 2016. These uh, 918 carbon bucket seats are available in the uh, GT cars, in the um, Boxster GTS, in the Carrera T's. So they're available in quite a few cars and uh, if you're a big guy, you're probably wondering do you fit? Or if you have um, back problems, is it gonna be uh, suitable for you? And uh, because it's not a cheap option, you know, it's about $4,000 or $5,000 option, right? So. Um, the first thing we can do is we can just go ahead and show you how to jump into the car, into the seat. The best way to get in is to put two legs in. Put two legs in. And then plop down into the car, uh, to the seat. So there you are, right? So I'm not that big of a guy, I'm definitely not that small of a guy either. I have size 13 shoes and... Um, this fits me nice. I mean, it's it's snug. There's not a lot of extra room. It's uh, it's padded all around. So if you get in the wrong way, let me show you how to get in the wrong way. If you get in the wrong way, like you do on a, on a on a floaty seat, if you just you know slide your butt over here and then onto this this way, it can really. Um, hurt your hamstrings a little bit and it can also wear out this bolster pretty fast I'm not sure you want to do that right so there's a few points of adjustment on this car so this is how we adjust the position of the seat it's totally manual you probably do that to save weight All right, we just pull up this handle and slide forward and backwards okay the next point of adjustment we have is this little button here. And that's going to raise the, the seat. Pretty good amount. You can also lower it back down. So there's really um, no way to change the angle of the seat from the factory. There is a um, kit online you can get if you know what angle you want the seat to be in. It kind of boosts up the bottom uh, bolting points on. And another thing to know is these seats they are available to swap out the cushions and there's companies like uh, like this one who gave me the samples P1 designs comment below which fabric you think uh, looks better the pinkish one or the or the red checkers I'm thinking about uh, this one the tartan it looks really nice and they can also uh, add more cushioning to the backs and change it to memory foam, uh, add lumbar support, things like that to uh, make the seat more comfortable. Just like how it's not one size fits all. When there's a race car, ra race car drivers switch on Le Mans, they always change out their pads because it's molded to their body, right? But the shells are the same. It's kind of kind of similar. This seats will fit most people. It, it won't fit all people, but it will fit most people. So, why don't we see if the car uh, seat will work with a helmet and the top down. All right, let's put the top up. All right, I got the top up. Now let's see how it fits with the um, fixed back bucket seat and a helmet on. See how that all works out, all right? Let's put this on real quick. So I'm pretty close, this much, 
headroom. This much headroom, right? And my head is not, it's not extremely pushed forward. So it, it's a good position. I would say it's very comfortable. I have plenty of room. And after all, that's what these seats are made for, right? So you can see the angle, the angle. Head's pushed forward a little bit, but it's not extreme. So I would say it's a go. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helped you. Decide if you want buckets in your car or not. And uh, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.